During the Cold War, Africa became a battleground for superpower influence. The United States and Western nations supported governments and movements that aligned with their interests, often providing military aid and financial assistance. At the same time, the Soviet Union sought to expand its sphere of influence in Africa by supporting socialist and communist movements and governments. Several African countries, like Angola and Mozambique, were hotspots for the superpower rivalry, with civil conflicts erupting and Soviet and Western assistance for opposing sides. Another crucial location was the Horn of Africa, with the Soviet Union supporting socialist regimes in Ethiopia and South Yemen while the United States supported anti-communist groups. In recent years while the West has hit under the banner of organizations such as the IMF and the World Bank, and blackmailed nations that don't comply with their ideologies such as the case in Uganda, Russia on the other hand has been actively building a powerful business and infrastructural influence in the African continent. In this video we are going to explore the top Russian-backed projects in Africa which would make even Western countries take notice. But first please take a second to hit the like button on this video and also subscribe so more people can see this. 11. The Gazprom Pipeline Gazprom, the Russian state-owned energy company, is proposing a pipeline project from Mozambique to South Africa. The pipeline would carry natural gas from Mozambique's huge deposits to South Africa, the continent's biggest industrialized country. Although the initiative is still in its early phases, it has the potential to be a game-changer for both Mozambique and South Africa. The project would give Mozambique with a new source of cash and aid in the development of its economy. The country possesses significant natural gas reserves, but due to a lack of infrastructure and investment, it has struggled to develop them. The pipeline would deliver the gas to market and bring the Mozambican government billions of dollars in cash. The pipeline would also provide a significant boost to the South African economy. South Africa's energy needs are currently primarily reliant on coal, making it vulnerable to rising coal prices. The pipeline would offer South Africa with a new supply of renewable energy while also assisting in the reduction of its reliance on coal. 10. The $500 million road network in Angola the Integrated Road Sector Program was established as a multi-pronged project to repair and extend Angola's road network. Its goal was to improve road conditions, increase connectivity, and stimulate economic activity. The $500 million project aimed to renovate and build highways across the country, with a concentration on vital corridors connecting major cities, ports, and neighboring countries. The major goals were to improve regional and international trade by developing road connectivity to other countries, lowering transportation expenses and travel time, making it easier for commodities and people to move. Economic growth and progress are encouraged. The project was supported through a variety of means, including loans from international financial organizations and donations from individuals. It also relies on the resolve of the Angolan government to invest in infrastructural development. Angola's infrastructure and economy have benefited greatly from the $500 road network investment. It has enhanced communication between major cities, allowing people and goods to move more easily across the country. As a result, economic activity and commerce have increased. The upgraded road network has resulted in a variety of socio-economic benefits, including increased access to healthcare and education, improved livelihoods for rural populations, and more efficient agricultural product transportation. 9. New Schools in Kenya Russia and Kenya signed a big investment agreement worth $1 billion in 2020. One important component of this agreement was the provision of funding for the development of new educational institutions, particularly schools. The primary purpose of this investment is to strengthen Kenya's educational infrastructure and the quality of education available to Kenyan students. The deal details a multi-phase project, with the first part slated to be completed this year. This phase entails the building and establishment of the initial set of schools, which will be fully operational in the near future. The project's ultimate goal is to greatly improve Kenya's educational landscape. The country intends to give high-quality education to Kenyan students by developing additional schools. This work includes not only the physical constructions of the schools, but also the creation of instructional programs and materials to ensure that children have a thorough and valuable learning experience. 
The investment deal indicates both Russia's and Kenya's resolve to engage on educational and infrastructure development efforts. It represents a broader cooperation aimed at supporting education and skill development in Kenya, which can contribute to the country's social and economic prosperity in the long run. 8. The $300 million Agricultural Project in Mozambique A cooperation combining numerous enterprises is now establishing an agricultural effort in Mozambique, with Russia's Russo Grow being one of the primary stakeholders in this consortium. This agricultural project's major goal is to dramatically improve Mozambique's food security, ensuring that the country has a stable and sufficient food supply. The project is on target to be completed by 2024, which represents an accelerated timeline for such a large undertaking. This effort has a broad and well-rounded scope. It includes irrigation system improvement, agricultural product production, and the building of sophisticated processing facilities. These collaborative projects aim to modernize and optimize Mozambique's agricultural industry, resulting in more efficient food production and processing. This enormous initiative is expected to have a significant influence on Mozambique. It claims to strengthen the country's food security by guaranteeing that its residents have consistent access to a sufficient and diverse food supply. Furthermore, the program is predicted to significantly increase the country's overall economy. More jobs will be produced and economic growth will be stimulated by modernizing and growing the agriculture sector. This project's sheer enormity is one of its most notable elements, making it the largest agricultural venture in Mozambique's history. This underscores the consortium's commitment to bringing about substantial transformation in the country's agricultural sector and broader economy. In addition to solving food security concerns, the project is expected to boost economic prosperity by enhancing the overall productivity and competitiveness of Mozambique's agricultural economy. 7. New Roads in South Africa in 2018, a big investment agreement worth $10 billion was signed, with Russia playing a key role in financing a major infrastructure development project in South Africa. The fundamental goal of this ambitious effort is to build a network of new roadways that will revolutionize the country's transportation and economic landscape. The goal of these new roadways is to connect South Africa's important urban areas and key economic hubs. This extensive road network will be critical in improving the nation's infrastructure. It aims to boost the nation's economy by connecting key cities and economic centers, facilitating the efficient movement of people and goods. This project is significant not only because of its size, but also because of its potential to promote South Africa's economic growth and competitiveness. Transportation infrastructure improvements will decrease logistical bottlenecks, lower transportation costs, and allow enterprises to operate more efficiently. Furthermore, it will improve residents' accessibility by connecting them to economic possibilities and crucial services. The construction of these motorways is a multi-phase project, with the first phase expected to be completed by 2025. When this initial stage is completed, it will be a significant milestone in the whole project. Subsequent phases will expand and optimize the highway network, supporting South Africa's economic development and infrastructure improvement. 6. New Bridge in Tanzania The new Rufeji River Bridge in Tanzania stands out as a key infrastructure project in Africa, with significant Russian backing. This 700-meter-long bridge is more than simply a physical construction, it serves as a vital link between two nearby settlements, Kibidi and Nizima. This bridge's major goal is to dramatically increase transportation connectivity between these two communities. It is projected to have a far-reaching impact on the region's economic growth and development by providing a reliable and efficient link over the Rufeji River. The improved connectivity will make it easier to move people, commodities, and services between Kibidi and Nizima, encouraging economic activity and fostering regional integration. This construction project demonstrates Russia's significant commitment to Tanzania's infrastructure development efforts. It signifies a joint effort among nations with the purpose of improving the region's people's quality of life. Russia's participation emphasizes the importance of international collaborations in pushing infrastructure development in African countries. The possible good impact on tourism in the area is one significant projected effect of this bridge. Improved transportation infrastructure can make inaccessible or difficult to access regions more appealing to tourists. 
The completion of the bridge may result in an increase in visitors to the region, boosting the local economy and creating job possibilities in the tourism sector. 5. New Sports Facilities in Algeria In 2021, Russia and Algeria formed a significant relationship centered on a $500 million investment pact. This investment agreement is for the construction of new sports facilities in Algeria. These sports facilities will be critical in developing the country's athletic and sporting potential. The primary goal of these sports facilities is to provide modern venues capable of holding important sporting events and competitions in Algeria. These stadiums are expected to reach international standards and to accommodate a wide range of sports. The project's goal is to raise Algeria's prominence in the sports world and promote the growth and success of its athletes by improving the country's sporting infrastructure. This complex project is planned to be completed in parts, with the first phase budgeted at $250 million. The completion of this initial phase is expected for 2024. During this phase, significant sports facilities and infrastructure will most likely be built and developed. Russia and Algeria's participation in this project demonstrates a commitment to fostering sports and athletics in Algeria. It emphasizes the significance of international relationships in expanding a nation's sporting scene, as well as the ability of sports to contribute to national pride, well-being, and international recognition. 4. New Port in Angola The construction of a new harbor in Lobito, Angola, is a significant infrastructure project in Africa, and it has received significant help from Russia. This effort, led by the Russian business Transgas, is expected to transform Angola's naval capabilities. The port's opening is scheduled for 2026, marking an important milestone in Angola's infrastructure development. The principal function of the Lobito port is to accommodate ships of up to 100,000 deadweight tons. This noteworthy feature significantly increases Angola's capacity for international trade. It will allow larger vessels to dock at the port, permitting considerably larger scale import and export of goods. This, in turn, is projected to benefit Angola's trading capabilities and international commerce. The building of the Lobito Harbor is predicted to have a number of positive benefits. For starters, it will create employment prospects for the local community. Second, the initiative will have a positive impact on regional economic growth. The port will attract firms and investments by becoming a major commercial center, fostering economic development and prosperity. Furthermore, the new port is expected to improve Angola's access to worldwide markets. It equips Angola to take advantage of international trade possibilities and increase its economic reach on the world arena by allowing the efficient movement of commodities and resources. 3. The $4 billion gas plant in Egypt The power plant is currently under construction in El Daba, Egypt, and is expected to be completed by 2028. When completed, it will be capable of producing 4.8 gigatons of energy, constituting a significant boost to Egypt's energy infrastructure. The power station, once operational, is expected to give electricity to approximately 40 million Egyptians. This massive energy production will have a significant impact on Egypt's power supply, addressing the nation's expanding energy needs for its population and industries. This project is notable in that it is the first nuclear power station to be developed in Africa in nearly three decades. This underlines Egypt's commitment to diversifying its energy sources and signifies a rebirth of interest in nuclear energy across the continent. This venture is especially noteworthy because it represents Russia's largest single investment in Africa. The country's participation in the construction of a nuclear power station in Egypt demonstrates its commitment to encouraging economic and technological cooperation with African states. The development of the facility is expected to have a number of favorable consequences. For starters, it is intended to provide jobs during both the construction and operational periods. This has the potential to boost both local and national economic growth. Second, the nuclear plant's provision of a stable and considerable energy source will improve Egypt's energy security by lowering reliance on less trustworthy sources. 2. New Hospitals in Nigeria The signing of a large $2 billion investment agreement between Russia and Nigeria in 2019 marked a key milestone in their relationship. This deal was made for a very important cause, the construction of new healthcare facilities in Nigeria. 
The comprehensive project intends to build contemporary hospitals outfitted with cutting-edge medical equipment and technologies, ultimately assuring that top-tier healthcare services are delivered to the Nigerian people. The scope of this effort is one of its most notable features. The overall investment of $2 billion demonstrates Nigeria's commitment to provide cutting-edge healthcare infrastructure. This infrastructure is crucial for servicing the healthcare demands of an increasingly diversified and rising population. The development of these hospitals is more than just a physical addition to Nigeria's healthcare landscape, it also represents an improvement in the quality of healthcare services offered to Nigerians. These facilities, which are equipped with advanced medical technologies and manned by trained personnel, are anticipated to deliver high-quality healthcare services, enhancing the local population's well-being and health results. The project is divided into phases, with the first phase costing $1 billion. This phase is fully underway and will be completed by 2024. The stepwise method allows for systematic advancement while also ensuring that the healthcare facilities are constructed to the highest standards. 1. New desalination plants in Morocco A big investment agreement worth $300 million was signed between Russia and Morocco in 2022. This agreement focuses on a critical part of Morocco's infrastructure and long-term sustainability, the construction of new desalination plants. These facilities are intended to serve two functions. Supply of potable water, the major goal of these desalination plants is to provide a reliable source of clean water to the Moroccan people. The development of desalination facilities guarantees that Moroccans have access to a stable and clean water supply, which is a basic prerequisite for public health. Water self-sufficiency, another major goal of this effort is to increase Morocco's water resource self-sufficiency. Morocco, like many other countries, confronts water constraint issues, and desalination facilities offer a way to minimize reliance on traditional supplies of fresh water. Morocco can reduce the impact of water scarcity and increase its water security by investing in this technology. The investment agreement details a project with a total budget of $300 million that is divided into phases. The first phase, at $150 million, is well underway and is expected to be completed by 2025. This tiered strategy enables the systematic development of the desalination infrastructure, assuring efficient implementation and quality standards. This project demonstrates Russia's willingness to work with Morocco to address major water supply and security issues. Access to safe drinking water is critical for public health, agriculture, and industrial operations, therefore this project will make a substantial contribution to Morocco's long-term development. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a sub so more people can see our content. We'll see you in the next video.